Hi everybody, and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big. Again, it doesn't matter what sport you're betting on. We've got everything for you right here. We're going to get into some NFL action for week three of the season. Before we do, I always like to invite you to join and you'll have access to the VIP club section. And you can see across the top here, all these tabs will help you make your picks. Okay, so week three, the NFL season, the first two weeks have been anything but completely predictable. Uh, so let's give it a shot here. For this week, there's going to be five games we will take a look at. Uh, the first one will be Denver and Tampa Bay. Denver comes in losing their first two games, seven points against uh, Pittsburgh and six points against Seattle. And Tampa Bay is burning hot winners of their first two. A uh, surprising win, I would think, for most against uh, the Lions on the road last week. Uh, Tampa Bay comes in a 6.5 point favorite with odds of 1.31 to 3.375. And the over under here is set at 41.5. You can see that Tampa is given a 71% chance of winning this game. And they are a four star um, value pick as the home favorite. And let's take a look at a few other things here. If we take a look at the over under, the teams have been involved in games under the line once and over the line once. The score prediction has Tampa Bay by a wide margin, 39 to 20, but the confidence of the prediction is very low at only 40%. One thing to note is that Tampa Bay has won 80% in the favorite stats in the last two games, and there's a low confidence underdog value pick of three stars on the Denver Broncos. If we take a look at the power ranks indicator, Denver still has an edge at plus 19 to plus 8, but you can see the trends have been steeply downward for Denver and on the upward climb for Tampa Bay. Let's take a look at the movement in the money line down here. This is the Tampa Bay money line. You can see it opened at 1.45. You can see there's been a couple of movements. There's a sharp move detected in favor of Tampa Bay, and then it's pretty much leveled out. And then there's a sharp move detected against Tampa Bay. But now in the end here, they're still at 1.31, which is a better odds than the opening line of uh, 1.45. So what I'm looking at here is I do like Tampa Bay minus the points, but I'm going to pass on the over-under bet. The next game we want to look at is Houston and Minnesota. Houston comes in burning hot 2-0, Minnesota also 2-0. You can see uh, the biggest thing here was Minnesota beating San Francisco. That was an impressive win, and Houston is coming off of two relatively close wins, but still 2-0 is 2-0. Um, the score prediction is for Houston 27, Minnesota 18. Confidence in the prediction is at 58%. And Houston is a favorite of 1.5 points on the road with odds of 1.69 to 2.179. And now let's take a note at the over-under. Um, three of the four games between the two teams so far this year have been under the line. And the... Uh, over under is set at 45.5. Uh, let's take a look at this. Houston has won all of their games that, as a favorite over the last five. That is a very telling statistic here. They've also covered the spread 80% in the last five games as the favorite. On the power ranks indicator, Houston is on the upward trend at plus 30 at the tops of the league. And Minnesota is stable at plus 22 after uh, two games. Uh, let's see. Head-to-head, -head, the teams have not yet met this season. Of course, there's only been two games and haven't met since 2020. You notice they only meet every four seasons. So that really doesn't play a factor into the pick here. If we look at the money line, it looks like there's been quite a bit of movement in the line. You can see it opened at 1.51. And as you go through here, you can see that there is a sharp move a detected in favor of Houston. And the line is now at 1.45. So Houston is more of a favorite now than they were before. So I am going to go with Houston on the road, and I think it's going to be a lower scoring game. So let's go Houston and under the line. Now we want to look at, uh, let's see here, scroll down through here. Oh, the Chargers and the Steelers. Here we go. Both teams are coming in at two and oh. I think this is the game of the day. Uh, the Steelers average up two low scoring games. Steelers have not hit 20 points yet in either game, but are two and oh. You tell their defense has been very stout. Uh, they are favorites of 1.5 points with odds of 1.8 to 2. And the over-under is set at only 36.5. I 
you see the Chargers are burning hot. They, they're coming off of a blowout win over Carolina and also a 12-point win over the Raiders. The score prediction is for the Chargers by a single point, 20-19. Confidence in the prediction is 66%, and this would actually be an over-the-line score. But if you look here, it's only two star to pick over. So uh, the projection here is the projection for the over is 55.95%, which is eh, a little bit better than 50%, but still not extremely confident with that. If you look at the uh, power ranks indicator, both teams on the upward trends, both are still pretty low, but on the upward trend and very close, the Chargers 10 and the Steelers 9. If you take a look at the stability factor, the Chargers have been extremely consistent over the first two games. There are two, which means they have hit either favorite or under, depending on what it was. And, and it was it was favorite because they are 2-0. Oh, so they're favorite in both games, and they won both. So that's where the plus two comes from. And the Steelers are at zero. Uh, the money line movement doesn't look like there's been a whole lot of movement. It opened at 1.8. There was some movement to 1.69, but now at the end it has leveled back off to uh, 1.8. So I'm going to look at this one as a Steelers win at home. I just It's just hard to pick against the Steelers right now, particularly how good the defense has been playing. Let's go with the Steelers at home in a game under the line. Okay, we will take a look now at a couple more games here. Let's have to get to them. Here we go, Baltimore and Dallas. Baltimore comes in surprisingly at 0-2. And, and what just happened there? i got to go back to it. There we go. Baltimore's coming in surprising 0-2. Um, in, in games over the line in both games, Dallas is coming in at one and one, and they got blown out by the Saints, forty-four to nineteen at home. Whew, there's a red flag for you. Um, Baltimore is a road favorite of zero point five points, odds of one point eight to two point zero, and you can see the over under at forty-seven point five. And Baltimore is given a fifty-six percent chance of winning the game. The score prediction does have Baltimore by a single point again. The uh, line is very low, and the prediction is for a tight game, 26-25, 44% or 43% confidence in the prediction. Power ranks teams are very close here as well, Baltimore 26 and Dallas 23. If we look at the money line, you see it opened at 1.9. This is the Ravens money line. You see how the movement has been, and there's been... Some movement, not extreme movement, but movement more in the favor of Baltimore. It is now at 1.8. And again, they are very slight favorites. I do like the Ravens to get their first win this season. Dallas, as great as they were last year at home, giving up 44 points. Although New Orleans has a good team this year, 44 points at home, really bad. I think it's going to be the Ravens win. And the final game we want to look at is going to be, to get to it. It's going to be the Chiefs and the Falcons. There we go, the Chiefs and the Falcons. The Chiefs are burning hot, finding ways to win 2-0. The Falcons coming off of a rather surprising road win at Philadelphia. The Eagles pretty much gave that game away at the end, but, hey, the Falcons won it, and they are 1-1 one one on the season. Kansas City is a 3.5-point road favorite, odds of 1.55 to 2.645, and the over-under is at 46.5. You see Kansas City with almost a two-thirds uh, chance of winning this, 63%, 37%. You can see that the Chiefs are a 4.5 star uh, road favorite pick. And if you look at the over-under, they've been playing in games on opposite sides of the line. Atlanta under in both of their games and Kansas City over both of their games. The prediction is for Kansas City and they blow out 33-14 to 14, and the confidence is rather high at 64%. On the power ranks indicator, not a big surprise here that Kansas City is, is higher. The surprise is that it is so close, 27 to 24. Let's take at the volatility oscillator. This is a telling thing right here. Very consistent for the Chiefs at 2. Atlanta, a, a very inconsistent at minus 2. Um, I don't really see that there's going to be much of a chance here for Atlanta. But let's take a look at the money line and see what we have here. You can see it started at 1.52. But interesting thing was there's a sharp move detected in favor of Kansas City. Then a sharp move detected against Kansas City. But in the end, the line is pretty much where it was as it opened up. I like the Chiefs in this one, probably by double digits in a game over the line. So there you have it. Those are the games for the NFL for week three. Happy betting, and we will see you again next time.